Are you looking for the best waterproof tent? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best waterproof tent on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. The North Face Wona 6 We've been outspoken fans of the North Face Wona line of tents for some time, so it should come as no surprise that the Wona 6 takes our top honors as the best waterproof tent overall. This tent also took top honors in our recent camping tent field test, and our testers all had universal acclaim for just about every aspect of the Wona. From a weatherproofing standpoint, the Wona is one of those rare outliers that is big and tall, yet 100% capable of handling heavy rains and big winds alike. Their Wona doesn't use a full coverage rain fly. But because the North Face equipped both the canopy and fly of the tent with the same seam sealed and 1200 mm waterproof rated fabric, we've never had it leak a single drop on us. That unique fly design also means that the Wona is a fantastically breathable tent, as fresh air can easily slip into the tent through a pair of massive mesh windows. Combine that all weather construction and spacious interior with a huge external gear garage that's large enough to stash anything from mountain bikes to a table and chairs, and you've got one of the most livable tents on the market that also happens to sell for a good $100 less than the competition. Drawbacks here are few and far between, but the one gripe our testers shared about the Wona was its setup time. Because the Rainfly only works with the pole supported gear garage fully staked out, pitching the Wona can take a bit longer than some of the simpler designs on our list. There's still no better camping tent out there in terms of performance and value though and you just can't go wrong with the Wona. Number 2. Coleman Skydome 4 On the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got the Coleman Skydome 4, which delivers all the essentials and a few creature comforts to boot for well under $200. The new Skydome 4 was an easy choice for this list because it combines a roomy floor plan and respectable peak height with a full-length rain fly that's built to handle serious precipitation. We feel that this new model is a clear cut above the usual Coleman fare, which often relies on single wall designs or partial flights, yet it still comes in at a very Coleman price. Coleman also includes a few extra livability perks in their latest Skydome including a floor layout that's fit for a queen-sized air mattress and a fast pitching clip-in canopy design. Our favorite feature of the lot though is the integrated awning on the front of the vestibule, which sits far enough away from the front door of the tent that you can actually leave it open in light rain for extra ventilation without letting water into the tent. As is the case with most Coleman shelters, the main drawback to the Skydome 4 is its material quality. The bathtub style floor fabric feels nice and tough, but the canopy isn't the kind of material we'd want to leave out in the sun and rain for weeks at a time. The same could be said for the fiberglass pole set and plastic hardware, which are plenty robust enough for casual camping, but wouldn't be our first choice in serious wind. Number 3. Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2 Few backpacking tents have garnered as much acclaim as the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2, try saying that one three times fast. And one look at this super light shelter is all you need to understand why casual backpackers and through hikers alike all sing its praises. Starting with the obvious, Big Agnes has made an impressively light and compact backpacking tent that still manages to deliver a respectable 29 square feet of floor space, and it's made that much sweeter by another 18 square feet of exterior vestibule storage. Speaking of vestibules, we also love the two door, two vestibule design which makes the spur ideal for sharing with another hiker. Big Agnes also went a step further by engineering both vestibules to function as pole-supported awnings, trekking poles, that is, which boosts living space and ventilation in sunny weather or even light rain. On the waterproof side of the equation, the Copper Spur HVUL2 is likely one of the only backpacking tents with a 1200 mm rated rain fly we'd recommend without a second thought, because Big Agnes uses a silicone treated nylon fabric, which is doubly protected by a polyurethane coating, 
they can get away with a much thinner and lighter material without sacrificing any storm worthiness. The list of premium features goes on and includes top of the line DAC NFL poles, a full set of Big Agnes premium dirt dagger all stakes, and an abundance of interior storage and organization. Our only real complaint with the Copper Spur is its price tag, which at well over $500 can be a tough pill to swallow for casual backpackers. We'll also note that Big Agnes' emphasis on the Spurs' ultralight intentions means the fabric of the tent is a bit thinner than some more budget-minded options, but that'll be a welcome trade-off for anyone wanting the comfort of a proper tent without the extra weight penalty. Number 4. Nemo Aurora High-Rise 6 We had the pleasure of testing the new Nemo Aurora High-Rise during our recent camping tent field test and it's easily one of our favorite options on the market. With stand-up height ceilings, a roomy floor plan, and two big doors, vestibules for easy access and ample exterior storage, it checks all our major boxes for a roomy car camping tent. What makes the Aurora high-rise special, however, is its unique frame design. By using two extra-long support poles, Nemo was able to pull the walls of the Aurora high-rise out beyond vertical, which adds interior space but also gives the high-rise the special feature that landed it on our list, rain-friendly windows. Because these support poles extend well beyond the body of the tent, they create an awning effect once the rainfly is in place. This allowed us to leave both windows wide open for extra views and tons of airflow in everything but the most intense windblown rains. Our testers also lauded the Aurora High Rise for its bright colors and unique printed floor, high quality and highly durable materials, and excellent all around build quality. Our main concern with the Aurora High Rise is that because it's a relatively new design, Nemo just launched it in 2022, its long-term durability is still relatively unknown. We'll also point out that the six-person model costs the same as the North Face Wona 6 above, but doesn't include the Wona's Gear Garage. It's a bit easier to pitch and has the added benefit of a full coverage rain fly though, so you really can't go wrong with either. Number 5. Big Agnes Bunkhouse 4 The Big Agnes Bunkhouse is another big and tall cabin style tent that we'd be more than happy to wait out a storming. This was another favorite from our recent field test, and it's hard to overstate Big Agnes' attention to quality and detail. The star of the show here is the bunkhouse's rain fly, which is the definition of full coverage and fully waterproof but it does much more than just keep you dry. Fancy a nice shady hangout on a sunny day? The front vestibule converts into a sizable pole-supported awning with room to relax underneath. The fly even functions as a standalone shelter without the inner tent when desired, which means this waterproof tent doubles as a shady cabana for picnics and beach days as well. We also love that the bunkhouse is one of the easiest large tents out there to pitch especially after recent updates for 2023. Big Agnes now makes the entire canopy of the bunkhouse a simple clip-in design. The outgoing model used a pole-in-sleeve setup, so it's quick and easy to erect, even when pitching solo. In terms of drawbacks our main gripe with the bunkhouse is that it's awfully expensive for a 4P model and actually costs more than some 6p options on our list. We'll also mention that the bunkhouse has had a few minor design updates since we last tested it in 2022, so while we don't have hands-on experience setting up the new clip-in design, we expect the fly and its sturdy guy-line layout to be as storm-proof as ever.